guys, it's Mrs. Harlis here with my daughter, Lily. Hi guys. Um, first of all guys, I miss you so much and I cannot wait for us to get back into our art studio and make some art again. Um, but for now, I hope you guys are being safe, washing your hands and staying at home. Um, so Lily and I thought it would be really fun to share a art project that we did at home. Um, and what we made were these three dimensional portraits. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to give you guys a little tutorial on how to make these. Um, the first things that you're going to need are, Lily, take it away. You'll need construction paper. And you can use all different kinds of colors. Yeah. If you have pattern paper, that's really good too. If you don't have construction paper, you could use your own like computer paper and color it first. Yeah, that would be kind of hard though, because you got to yeah. Wow, that's really something. Yeah. All right, what else do we need? We also need a marker. Marker. It can be any color, but we use black. We also need some scissors, safety scissors for kids. But if you're doing it with an adult, the adult can use big scissors. Yeah, just the adult. Just the adult, not you. <laughs> All right, what else? You also need a glue stick, or you could use tape, you could use a hot glue gun, but always with a parent. Always with a parent? Parent or like an adult. Not with your older brother or sister, an adult. Okay, got it, got it. Always with safety we're first. We're using with glue sticks. We're using glue sticks. Glue sticks, all right. So paper, scissors, glue sticks, markers. You could also use crayons and colored pencils for decorations later. But these are really the basics that you need. So, Lily, are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get started. Happy creating, little dragons. Happy creating. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna be using a piece of paper for our face color. We're gonna fold it in half, and it does not have to be perfect, just the best you can. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up that piece of paper, and we're gonna cut on the fold. This is going to be our face shape. So you're gonna fold your piece of paper and you're gonna do a hamburger and you're gonna fold each side about an inch wide. Um, you're gonna do both of the sides. Um, and then you're gonna, when you folded it on the side, where you folded it, um, you're gonna take your glue stick and you're gonna and you're gonna run it over the, the folded side. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna you're gonna take it and you're gonna pick it up and then you're gonna stick the folded side down like that. Press it down and then do the same thing on the other side. Just gonna make sure that it's all the way in there because if it's not all the way in there it will pop off you don't want it to pop off then you're gonna take another piece of that same colored paper and you're gonna cut a strip and then you're gonna glue that strip inside that circle to the edge to the edge of your paper and that will give us the neck then you're gonna cut a strip of paper. And it's gonna be in the nose. I, my, my mom thinks the nose is super cool because it's like a loop. So you loop the nose around like that. And then you can, you can kind of do like a, a little point if you want, you don't have to. But, but that's what my mom did. Uh, then you're going to glue it onto the face where our nose would be. And then you're going to take another piece of paper. You're going to fold it in half. And then, and then you're going to cut the shape of an ear. Out of it. 
like that. So then you have two, two ear shapes and you're gonna glue those onto the side of the head. Um, it might go inside the head a little bit, so you're just gonna have to pull it out if it goes in. I had trouble with mine doing that. Then you're gonna take a white piece of paper and you're gonna draw two circles. They can be, they don't have to be circles, they can be any eye you want them to be. Um, then you're gonna cut those out. And then you're gonna glue them on to the, onto the, your human. <laughs> Um, um, uh, glue them onto your human, okay. So after I got the eyes glued on, I started using um, some different scraps of paper just to make some different accessories. So right here, I'm cutting out um, some circles that I'm gonna use for the cheeks. We found some of this uh, really cool shimmery paper, so we thought we would use that on our portraits. I also cut out a little shape to be the lips um, on my person, and then I'll also add in some details with my black Sharpie. So if your hair is straight, you can just do fringe, but if your hair is wavy, you can just take pieces and wrap them around your pencil. Um, and uh, when you do your hair, you, you fold it down and then you look at it for different ways, from different ways. Um, and then you see what you like best. And then once you find out what you liked best, you fold the top of your paper down and then you take your glue and you're gonna fold it up and then you're gonna gl put glue in the part that you folded. And then you're gonna stick out right there and like overlap it with the corner of the head. Like, so put the part that you folded is gonna go on the inside and the part that you didn't fold is now on the outside.
once I got the hair finished, it was time to just go in and add some fun details. So I decided to go in and add a shirt to my person. Um, and then I went back in with my Sharpie and added in some um, fun details to the shirt. Um, later on, I add in some earrings and a bow. Um, you could add anything to these. You could make your favorite comic book character. You could make uh, your favorite Disney princess. You could make a portrait of your favorite teacher, um, of your favorite family member. You could even do a pet using these. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm really excited to see what creative things you guys come up with. Just make sure that if you post these on social media, that you tag me in them, hashtag art with Mrs. H, or you can email me a picture of your creations at eightharlist at carnivalschools.org. I cannot wait to see what you guys make. Happy creating, little dragons.